guys, it's Claire from Seagull and Speed 252. Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you for pushing that play button today. Um, today's video is going to be pretty much about the C7. Um, thank God we have the C7 back so I can make some more good content about that. But with this intro, I want to make a few things um, noted. Let me bring out the, uh, the YouTube call out event again just to make sure I get all that stuff right. Uh, it's just one of my neighbors. Let's see. Let's see. So the YouTube call out is June, Saturday, 23rd. Um, the gates will be open at noon and racing will begin between 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. So, you know, obviously if the weather is great, which I'm hoping for great weather that day. Um, the last call out was great weather, which is windy, but that was in Pennsylvania. This is obviously in North Carolina um, at the Galat Motorsport Park. The address is 555 Dry Script Road, Benton, North Carolina, 27504. Um, that is the address for the call out event. I will put that information down below. I'll also post that picture in this video as well. Um, so I'm hoping for great weather. Um, right now, obviously, I will be there. Uh, it's Truspy 717. Mike will be there um, with his McLaren and his ZR1. Uh, Nick from Good Time Armageddon will be there. Uh, his girlfriend will probably end up racing the other Camaro, which she's she's very good by the way. She's a definitely a great racer. Um, I did not race her by chance, but I definitely got the opportunity to watch her race at the last YouTube call out. She did a phenomenal job. Nick had definitely taught her well. Uh, so good job there with Lauren. And uh, let's see, Cletus McFarlane will be there at this YouTube call out. He was not at the last one. This will be pretty interesting. Um, and a bunch of other YouTubers as well. It's going to be a great event. A good turnout. They said right now they're expecting anywhere between three to five thousand people. Um, that's just a guess. I know at the last YouTube call out, it was tons of people out there, and the wind was blowing. So if the weather's nice, expect this one to be pretty packed. I finally officially kind of uh, finished my YouTube logo for the channel, and uh, I'm going to post a picture of that within this video as well. I kind of want you to take a look at the top and the bottom and tell me what you think of both logos. Um, if you don't follow, follow me on social media, which is Seek on the Speed 252 for Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, um, a lot of my followers seen the logos there just yesterday and uh, they gave me that feedback on it. Right now, right now, um, I'm, I was kind of going with the top, um, but my friend also gave me the second one, which is the one at the bottom. Um, but let me know what you guys think and ladies think. I'm going to post a picture of that. Um, in this video as well, so leave your comments down below which uh, YouTube logo you think looks better for the channel and right now I know on Instagram the top one with the 252 and the speed armor is the one that's winning it currently at the moment um, you know I just want to figure out which one looks best right now my instincts feel like I should go with the one at the top but I want your feedback so I want to see which one you like as well um, right now we're going to head out we're going to take the silver bullet out of the garage by the way um, make some good content with that and we're going to talk about the wrap today. I've been waiting to make this video for so long now because I had a lot of people, you know, ask me like details about the wrap. I know uh, Mr. Rusty Zipper has been asking me about the course of exhaust. I got that video coming your way, Mr. Rusty. So hold on for that one. Um, and so yes, we're getting the silver bullet out of the garage. Oh yeah, back to uh, Mr. Jason. Mr. Jason was the one that told me um, do not void your warranty on your Corvette because he had on a steam in the past. He void his warranty. He lot of he had a lot of issues. Great guy. Let's uh, get ready for a cold start. And uh, let's get out of here with a silver bullet and let's talk about this chrome wrap on the C7 bullet. Hey you guys, this is Clarence from Seek on the Speed 252. As you all know, this is my C7 Grand Sport. Um, for those of you who don't know who is new to the channel, this car actually used to be blue. The entire car was emerald blue um, with chrome wheels. And when I chose that, you know, that color was my favorite color. And I love Chrome. Um, I really do. I know Chrome is it's technically not in right now. Everybody loves the black wheels and things like that. And I wasn't sure if I was a big fan of that just yet. Um, but I'm a unique person. I like to do something really, really, really different. And so this is now my new, completely redesigned, new wrap C7 Grand Sport. Um, I know a couple of my followers have seen this uh, this car and you know a couple of Insane Designs videos, a couple of photos. I haven't made a video yet of why I went this route. This is the video of why I went this route. This is going to be the five things I actually love about my black chrome wrap. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's hop into the C7 Grand Sport. So number one thing that I truly, truly like about this chrome wrap is that it is black chrome. If you can take a look at it, I can't for sure say it within a video, but if you can take a look at this, you can see how sparkly and how shiny it is. I mean, like just when the sun hits it, it's just a different feeling. 
Um, I reason why I went with black chrome because I didn't want it to be as bright as regular chrome and regular chrome don't really last that long. So this car is being completely wrapped in black chrome and when the sun hits it, it literally, I mean, even right here and right there, it just shines like no other. And that to me is an awesome feeling. I mean, anytime this car is out and about, people totally turn their heads. I actually had a couple of guys, uh, you know, open up their driver's side door to look at this car as it was passing by because they couldn't roll the window down, window down fast enough to get a look at it, you know? And you know, that just puts smiles on my face. And um, that is the number one thing I definitely like about my Grand Sport um, is the black chrome wrap that I actually put on it. Another thing that I want to talk about that I do like is that I got my mirrors painted gloss black. As you all know, this entire car was pretty much blue. And I like shiny things. Shiny things is just something that I love the most. And as you can take a look, the chrome is definitely shining. And next to that is the black mirrors. They are being painted gloss black. You can even tell that this wasn't even done by the factory. This actually was done by a friend of mine's. And um, yes, this was not done by the factory at all, but it looks like it was actually done at the factory. I love everything about it. It just, it's just unique. It makes the car pop in a different way. And it brings you that, that awesome factor, that awesome uniqueness that you want about a car. Um, and let's go on down to the black wheels. Now, all my subscribers, don't take a lap at me, but y'all know in the past how much I said I hated black wheels. I mean, I truly, truly hated them. And you, you can ask anybody in the world, all my friends, I was like, I'm considering putting my chrome wheels with this chrome wrap. And a lot of my friends are like, I don't know if that's going to work. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to try it someday. But I did feel like I had to go with another set of wheels. And, um, and so I went with these black Ferrado wheels. And they're freaking amazing. Um, I love them. Uh, people ask me all the time where did I get them from, you know, things of that nature. And I just like them a lot. I mean, they, they go well with the car, especially the deepness of it. And, you know, obviously my calibers are now red. Uh, when it came with the car, it was actually black. So I just had these painted red recently, and I think it matched really well with the car, um, especially with along the side um, stripe right here, in which, to be honest with you, the, one of the main things I do like about the car now is the red calibers because it makes the car even pop even more. Um, it's not too much red. It's just enough red to give you that what is that type of feeling nothing that's too extreme nothing that's too over the board and it kind of goes along with the, the you know the grand sport symbol um the ht symbol my youtube logo and and it just fits perfectly and i just enjoy you know being able to see how well of a job that that was painted by my friend and he did a good job with it so right now I, I truly love the black wheels and i love everything about them and i got another video for that coming later on about those black wheels um as you all know if in, in shane designs video when it first came out this was actually black and it only stopped here and we went to go with the black just to see what it's going to look like um the black definitely give it that bold factor but i feel like the red totally just came out and just gave it another it just gave me a uh, something that just like when you see this red it's definitely something completely different i mean the black was definitely bold but the red actually pops a whole lot more than anything else and it really really goes well with the line of the body the definition of the body um once again the c7 grand sport and the Z06 and the Stingray, the bodies are freaking phenomenal. Like, Chevrolet did an awesome job with this car. And so with the way this body is shaped and the way that red design actually co correlated with the body, it's just, it's just freaking amazing. I love everything about it. Um, another reason why I actually went with black chrome is because my interior. So my interior is Kalahari. And a lot of people didn't even know that until actually my car, you know, windows were down and people, you know, saw the top off. The Kalahari interior looks really freaking great with this black chrome. I mean, it looks phenomenal. If you take a look at the inside right now, this car look with the black chrome. I mean, it's freaking awesome. Like it, it complements the black chrome really freaking well, especially with the top there. As of right now, everybody I talk to, they, they love the way this car looks. It just, it's just something completely different about it that you just can't really get anywhere else. And, and this wrap is, is, is freaking awesome. I know a lot of people ask me, though, would you get your car wrapped again? Um, would you go with a different color next time? I would totally get my car wrapped again. How do I like the process? I love the process. I mean, everything about the car went great. Um, they did an awesome job on the wrap. I, I mean, I can't say enough for how happy I am with this, this wrap job. Literally, everybody turns their head about it. Um, another thing that I actually liked about this wrap job is that before I got my car transitioned to being wrapped, I didn't have my YouTube um, logo on the car at all, which this isn't actually my logo. This is my brand name So this is my YouTube channel name obviously because if you're watching this you kind of already know that but um it, it looks really amazing to have YouTube see so going to speed 252 on the back So when I'm driving this car and about you know People can walk up to it and take a look at it take photos with it and just you know Take a look at it and you know, look at the channel and things like that It's kind of you know just marketing for yourself and things like that And I'm one of those guys and you walk up to the car and say hey, can I take a picture with you? Can I take a picture with you? 
that's not a big deal. I don't, I'm not one of those famous, you know, YouTubers or big YouTubers who like, oh no, I'm not taking any photos. That's not how I am. That's not how I roll. If you see me out and about and you know who I am, feel free to come to me and say hello. Um, I would love to say hello to you back. And you know, we can take photos with the car. If you want to take photos of the car yourself, that's completely fine. Feel free to do so. And that's one of the other things I love about this car, just having my YouTube logo on the back in red, because it definitely pops out once again. It gives you that uh factor. It complements the car really well. And I just think they did a great job. Another thing that I want to talk about, about my Chrome Wrap that I truly, 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 truly like, that I thought it was gonna be hard to do, was the vents, actually. So these vents, as everyone know, when you buy a C7 Grand Sport, it comes with the same body color of the car. When you buy a Z06, it actually comes naturally black like this. And in order to get it, if you buy a Z06 and you technically want um, it to come the same color as the car, you actually have to pay extra for that, which is like 150 bucks to, um, to get it the same color body, to get it the same color as the body of the car. But the Grand Sport is completely opposite of that. When you want it to be black, you actually pay $150 to get it black. So it's like you go back and forth. With this Grand Sport, I didn't really care, so it came in blue. But now knowing that the car has been wrapped black chrome and everything else is black, this obviously couldn't stay blue. So they did a great job of repainting this as gloss black as well on top of with the mirrors. And I think they did a phenomenal job with that. And I mean, overall, like I said, they did a great job with this car. If I had to say, you know, one of the main things that I think I truly love about this car after being wrapped, gosh, that'd be tough because I really like everything about it from the wheels, from the calibers, to the gloss black mirrors, to the, the wrapped black roof, to the Kalahari seats that complements the car really well. It's honestly probably the Stinger hood. Um, if you take a look at it, this was actually wrapped as well. And my whole plan with this car was to actually get this entire car wrapped black chrome in general. But I think that breaking this up and getting this stinger hood actually placed on the car just worked great with this um, on this black chrome in general. I think that it complements the car really, really well. And it, I just think overall, I think they did a great job with it. If you ask me again when I get my car wrapped, I most certainly would. I love everything about this car. It's definitely a head turner. Um, I mean, like I said, I had people literally, literally, they couldn't see it fast enough. They open up their driver's door, just look at the car, just turn by when I'm turning. And it's an awesome feeling. Um, I love everything about this car. I'm truly happy and blessed to even get one of these. Um, once again, Chevrolet did an awesome job with this car, phenomenal job with this car. And I'm so happy to, to, to be enjoying this. Um, if you are watching my channel right now, I did post a photo of two logos that I'm considering for my YouTube channel. And if you're not part of my social media, I did post it yesterday, so feel free to take a look at that on Instagram, Facebook, um, at Speed 252 But I will post that same picture within this video. Uh, please give me your comment on what you think is the best, the top or the bottom. I personally, right now, will say I'm going with the top. I know a lot of you like the bottom, but right now on Instagram, the poll is leaning more towards the top logo than the bottom logo. And you know, I, I, I'm just, you know, I want to bring this to my followers and figure out which one you would like the most because whichever logo is chosen will be on future merch. I probably will stick this logo on the back of the windshield of the car and um, I'm gonna go use that going forward. And so I would like to have your input, your advice because we are a community, we are a family and I do reach out to you all with questions just like you all reach out to me on Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook. And even in, you know, at seagoingtospeed252gmail.com is some people actually send me emails there asking my, asking my opinions about things all the time. And so this is a community, this is a growing family, and this is the way I always wanted to be. If you are watching this right now and you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Because we have a lot of great information coming your way, whether it's from me, whether it's from my followers, which is like my family members, or whether it's from anyone else that I can kind of connect with. And, you know, I love meeting new people. And once again, I hope everybody comes to the YouTube call out. I hope you enjoyed the five things I love about my uh, C7 Grand Sport that has been wrapped black chrome. And I look forward to catching your next video. Definitely, definitely, definitely come to YouTube call out and look forward to having some merch coming your way pretty soon. See you on Speed 252 is out.